In this problem, we're being asked to find coterminal angles. What is a coterminal angle? Well, co means together, and terminal means ending, so angles that end in the same place. And since angles on the unit circle all start in the same place, a coterminal angle is going to look just the same, really. So uh, let's think about it this way. Uh, here's a 90 degree angle on the unit circle. But what if we wanted to do a 450 degree angle? That would be starting here, we'd go around 360 degrees, and then 90 more to get to 450. So 450 degrees, an angle plotted on the unit circle, would look just the same as a 90 degree angle. So those are coterminal. So let's try, try out this concept with the first problem. It says, find an angle between 0 and 360 degrees that's coterminal with 390. So let's plot that 390 degree angle. Let's think about that. 390 degrees, we'd start here, we'd go around a full circle, that'd be 360, and then 390 minus 360 leaves 30 more, so we'd go an additional 30 degrees, and we'd end up right here. So a 30 degree angle is the same as a 390 degree angle. So your answer here would be 30 degrees. There are a couple of ways to solve these problems. You can do what we just did there, that is to think about it on the unit circle and kind of plot it out, sketch it out. Another way is just to subtract 360 degrees or subtract 2 pi if you're in radians. Or if you've got a negative value to start with, you might add 360 degrees or add 2 pi. So that would be the mathematical way, maybe a quicker way. I like to visualize it first and then check. I mean, if, we, if we subtract 360 from 390, we get 30 degrees. That's, that's our answer there. Let's try this next one. It says find an angle between 0 and 2 pi. That's the same as between 0 and 360. So one revolution around the circle, somewhere in that one revolution. That is coterminal with negative pi over 3. So where is negative pi over 3? Well, if you remember how we split up uh, the unit circle, uh, each of these quadrants we typically cut in half to get the pi over 4 part, and then we cut it into sixths as well, like this. So I did this lower quadrant because we've got a negative value, which means we're starting at 0 and going this way around the circle. Let me get rid of this stuff from the last problem. So we're starting here at 0 and going this way around the circle. So if we want to find negative pi over 3, we could count 1 sixth, 2 sixth, that's negative pi over 3. So what's an angle that's coterminal with that? Let me get rid of these other um, lines I, I sketched in here so it's a little clearer. Well, an angle that's coterminal with that would be a positive angle that's going this way around the circle. Well, what what is this when we go this way around the circle? Well, we've got pi over 2 here. We've got pi, and since we're looking at 6, this is 6 pi over 6. Then here we've got um, 3 pi over 2. So this is 9 pi over 6. If we go 1 sixth more, we've got 10 pi over 6, or 5 pi over 3. So our coterminal angle here is going to be 5 pi over 3. But let's verify this by, if, since this is a negative value, let's add 2 pi. So negative pi over 3 plus 2 pi. And uh, let's rewrite this so that it has uh, the same denominator. So uh, 2 pi is the same as uh, 6 pi over 3. So negative pi over 3 plus 6 pi over 3, well, that's going to be 5 pi over 3. So whether you do it by plotting it on the circle or just adding or subtracting 360 or 2 pi, uh, either way should bring you to the same result. So that is how to determine some coterminal an angles.